Hey, and I'm super glad that you guys joined me today. I am here with Lisa Bronner. Well, Lisa Bronner is the granddaughter of Dr. Emmanuel Bronner, who's the founder of all of those amazing sal suds and all of the castel soaps that we love so much. They're the magic soaps, and it's the top selling natural brand of soaps in North America. And as we were just beginning to get ready for this show, I was talking to Lisa, and Lisa was telling me that not only are they in America, but lo and behold, they're in 42 countries across the world. Holy smokes. So hello, Lisa Bronner. How are you today? Thanks so much for having me, Angela. I am great. It's been a fun and busy week with the book launching and, of course, keeping up with all the other questions that come in about soap. Happy to be back here with you. Somebody asks, can I mix Dawn and Sal Suds? And Dawn is a dishwasher, oh, right. so. Yes, yes. As I said earlier, there is no required ingredients of disclosure of cleaning products across the United States. California does have one, and I do live in California, so it's a little different for me here. But across the country, there is not. And so not even I, as a manufacturer of South Suds, knows what is in Dawn. So I can't speak specifically to the interaction of Dawn and South Suds, but honestly, I don't know why you would want to mix the two. There's nothing that Dawn can do on its own that salsuds can't, and there's nothing that Dawn will benefit salsuds by mixing the two together. So best to use them separately. There is no secret database that I have access to that tells me what's in Dawn, unless they choose to disclose it, which other companies like Dr. Bronson have done so. But best don't mix cleaners, and you don't need to mix Dawn into salsuds. I have a personal philosophy, and I'm glad that you brought that up. I have a personal philosophy about safety data sheets and what the disclosure is. If I see a product and there's a really popular product on the market right now, and I won't use it, and I won't use it because I don't know what's inside, and they have a really vague safety data sheet, and it's like, it's got good stuff in it, and like how much of it we won't tell you. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, and I'm not going to use it because I don't know what's inside. And that to me is really scary. And if you're not scared, you should be. Because we live in an era right now where they're starting to make, check this out, soda pops that are crystal clear. They're removing the colors from them and they're removing the dyes and they're removing a lot of the stuff that has been known to cause angst in our bodies. We are becoming more consciously aware as a society that all of the chemicals stacking on top of each other, on top of each other, from laundry soaps to shampoos to deodorants to all the different stuff we use in our homes. It's becoming a toxic world that we live in. I say it's becoming, huh, it's already a toxic world. But please, and this was great that Lisa brought this up, if you don't need two soaps, don't use two soaps. If you're going to use them, use them individually, but don't use them both together. Not necessary. Right. But I do want to say something about cell suds since I got it right here. And it happens to be the house cleaner's favorite soap of all time for hardwood floors. And literally, and I'm not kidding, one drop, one drop in your mop bucket. Do not use a squirt or you'll have suds everywhere. But tell us why this is so effective and why it makes hardwood floors shine. Yeah, absolutely. So Sal Suds was a product that my dad came up with in 1975. Uh, my dad was a chemist, a self-trained chemist. He went to the school of curiosity and trial and error. And he developed Sal Suds as a result of his frustration with hard water in Los Angeles. And Castile soap, all soaps react with hard water. It's a harmless reaction. It doesn't cause any problems except that it leaves water spots and it can make fabrics stiff or anything that's supposed to be absorbent, like a towel would be stiff. He was really frustrated with the hard water in LA. And so he wanted to come up with a cleaner that was super effective, no matter how hard your water was. And Sal Suds was the result of that. He still wanted it to be extremely mild, extremely concentrated so that it was valuable and a little bit goes a long way. And so he's very careful about the blend of surfactants that he put in it. And so it is a detergent, which means the molecule is much more stable. It doesn't react with hard water, but that it's also still extremely mild and it's not too aggressive on skin or on your surfaces. And so the ingredients that he put in there are just the right blend that they grab anything, any oil, and they are extremely clean rinsing and they leave no residues behind. So hardwood floors, it's fantastic on them. All floors, I have a blend of hardwood and tile in my house. I actually also have carpet. And just this morning I was using my carpet cleaner with that one drop of sal suds. I promise you do not need more. You will have too many <laughs> bubbles and you never want to leave a cleaner on your floor because a surfactant like sal suds or castile soap, it holds on to dirt. That's what it does. That's how it works. It holds on to dirt. And then when you rinse it, it rinses it away. 
But if you leave it there and you don't rinse it away, then you've just got the cleaner holding onto dirt sitting there. And if more dirt comes along, it's going to hold on to more dirt. And then the, the surface actually will get dirtier. So you always want to make sure you get all the cleaner off of it. So Sal said is all I use for laundry, for floors, for my car, for my dishes, anything in my house that needs washing. I wash it with Sal says my painted walls, all of that. Yay. And that's not what this conversation was about, but because I know there's so many people that are so in love with cell suds, I had to bring that up. And so somebody asks, and it's Myra, and she says, is this something I can use to clean floors that may not cause harm to my dogs? Absolutely. Yes. First of all, you need so little of it to clean your floor. So there will not be very much there. And then it is extremely clean rinsing. That's why it was a feature my dad was most concerned about. And so it does not leave a residue there. The scent of salsets is from uh, two essential oils, spruce and fir, and it makes a, a nice light pine scent, but there's nothing in it that makes it enduring. Like I was talking earlier, it also rinses away. In fact, some people say, I wish your salsa scent would stick around. And we're like, it's designed not to stick around. It's designed to be clean rinsing. It would be excellent for not leaving any residues that could harm uh, dogs or cats or babies or anything that would be in contact with the surface afterwards. And speaking of babies, I remember one time inside a Lidl store, I'm walking inside Lidl and I see that in the baby section, they have some castile soap from Dr. Bronner's. And I got so excited. I took a picture and I sent it to Lisa and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are in my Lidl. And she's like, I know we're everywhere. <laughs> I love sorry. it. Well, my grandfather made the unscented at the request of the UCLA maternity ward because they wanted an unscented castile soap for use with their patients. And he already had the peppermint and lavender eucalyptus at the time, I think. And so he just pulled the essential oils out, simple, simple soap, very simple. And there was our unscented. So it was returning to its home by being in the baby section. All right, soapandsoulbook.com. This is Lisa Bronner, you guys. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Lisa, for your time and attention. You are amazing. Well, thank you so much, Angela. It was a, my privilege to be here. All right, we'll see you guys same time, same place next week.